Hello everyone, this is Deepak Bari. Welcome to this video. Now in this video, we will learn about the range command used in Cisco Packet Tracer software and we generally use in our router and switches. So, in the previous video, as we have seen how to just configure and how to just change the port state by using the shutdown or no shutdown command. So like those commands we can configure things more easily and uh, at a time with multiple ports by using the range command. So we will see those things in action by demonstrating a practical example and by using a switch here. So let's grab a switch here. Let's grab this switch and uh, as we have multiple ports here so we can connect multiple clients with this switch so let's grab some PCs so just hit down this hold down the control key and uh, select this PC and get some PCs here so right now I'm taking like 9 PCs and uh, let's connect with them so the switch will connect with this PC by using the copper straight through cable so let's select this cable by hold down the control key and uh, you'll allow to select multiple cable at a time Now the cabling is complete for this switch so let's grab some PC here so we can see that LED status of that switch. Now let's grab this PC here and let's this PC to be here. So right now these PCs are getting turned on and their status is gonna change from administratively down to F. As we have already know in this switch the interface is all by default is status is up whether in router which is by default the status is down. So just go to the global configuration mode and uh, let's see the ports first. So we have these possible commands here. show IP interface brief so by giving this command you will get the status of the port and uh, we have used these ports for the switch and uh, all the status is up and running so that means if you want to ping with some PCs to another PC so it will definitely ping just you have to assign the IP address here but uh, we don't just go into much details about these things right now just we have to see only the range command here so what we can do here so just go to the global configuration mode okay so let's select some interface here so give the command here interface as you have remember in our the previous sessions also we have used this command interface now let's give the question mark here now we can see a command below the VLAN which is called the interface range command so let's try this one interface range and let's give the question mark again so we have this kind of interfaces here so we can configure accordingly by with this range command so we must have to figure out which port we have to select with this range command so right now what we want to do is to set this fast ethernet 0 slash 4 up 
to 8 okay this port will be administratively down so we're gonna do this by giving this command here interface range and then the name of the interface first ethernet and now in this case that would be the slot number slash the port number from let's say 0 slash 4 and give the dash and 8 so this will select the range of interfaces and uh, will assign a common command whatever we will assign for the so let's hit down the return or the enter key now as you can see it is like global interface range configuration mode so just keep the shutdown command here and as we can see the interface status is administratively down so just give the end command here and give this command again show IP interface brief now the IP interface brief is showing this one so we have successfully administratively down this port by using this range command otherwise if you don't give this range command so you have to give it manually by one by one like you have to first select the interface and uh, name of the interface like fast ethernet and uh, 0 slash 4 then you have to give this no shutdown command now let's see again show IP interface brief so first thread 0 slash 4 has been status of turned up and let's say what about if we use again that range command here interface range first ethernet and 0 slash 5 now in this time 5 to 8 and uh, just give this no shutdown command to enable all the ports to the state above now give this end command and uh, let's see show IP interface brief as you can see we can successfully turn up and down these interfaces by using the range command and the individual command is also now let's say another use cases of range command where we can use the range command so let's see show and we have the VLAN here yes show VLAN brief so by giving this command show VLAN brief we can see all the VLAN available in our VLAN database so right now the default VLAN is active and all the ports by default as we know already assigned in the default VLAN so we have to create some another VLANs rather than this default VLAN and we will assign multiple ports to those VLANs by using that range command and uh, we are not gonna do much details about the VLAN here so this is just the range command demonstration so we will do that accordingly so let's give this command configure terminal and give the VLAN like VLAN2 and name like account exit from this mode and create another VLAN VLAN3 name sales now exit from this VLAN and uh, let's say show VLAN brief again and now in this time we have to VLANs the account and sales and uh, there is no ports assigned to those VLANs so we have to assign those ports to the specific VLAN let's say fast ethernet 0 slash 1 to fast ethernet 0 slash 4 okay so this will be assigned to the account department and uh, the rest of them will be assigned to the sales department 
rest of means that means the active force which is assigned to the specific pieces so let's do that so just go to the configure terminal again interface then this time we will use again this range command but before that we have to assign those VLANs here so interface range from like first ethernet the port we have to must define at the port and uh, from 0 slash 1 to 4 so it will assign give this command switch port access VLAN 2 so this range will be assigned to VLAN 2 and uh, let's check that again show VLAN brief now as you can see the account department has the port of first ethernet 0 slash 1 up to first ethernet 0 slash 4 now let's go again in the configure terminal mode and let's say interface range first ethernet and 0 slash 5 in this time and from 5 let's say 9 ok up to 9 so this will assign for another VLAN switch port access and VLAN 3 Now show VLAN brief. So the remaining ports is assigned into the sales department as we have planned. So you have seen the multiple advantages to use the range command and uh, range command is good to have and uh, assign multiple command at a time to the multiple ports. So this was all about for this video. Hope you do understand about the range command into the interface mode. So thanks for watching this video guys, if you have any kind of question and doubt so you can just write down below in the comment box and guys see you on the next video.